Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and show you guys a quick budget interaction for the Righteous Fire Inquisitor. This is a little bit of a complex mechanic and a lot of people are not going to fully understand it, so I'm going to try my best to do it very, very easily for you guys. When you start running Righteous Fire on a build like this, you'll notice the defensive layers are not super, super high. And since we're playing a hybrid build, naturally as a hybrid build, it's easier to scale life and energy shield than it is to just scale life, right? You could get a higher effective life pool. It's easy to get 5k life and 2k ES versus just getting 7k life. So until we get Corrupted Soul, which will be talked about later, I want to show you a budget option. If you're following my passive tree, your tree will look something similar to this. So you're branching right by Mind Over Matter, and eventually you're going to go here for your Cluster Jewel. So if you spend one, two, three, four additional points, let me show you the interaction that you can get. So right now we are running Righteous Fire, which is burning our Life Pool and our small ES Pool on our ES Pool first. Why? Because Energy Shield has to protect your Life Pool unless it is Chaos Damage or you're doing something else. But that's how Energy Shield works. If we take Mind Over Matter, we will instantly go Oom. Um. The only reason we're not instantly Oom um right now is because this is this is pre-patch, uh, which means the Inquisitor still has the 15 mana per second. Normally, you'd be Oom um instantly, right? We don't have mana regen. And then once this hits one, you can't cast anything. If you take Eldritch Battery, what happens is... 30% of the damage that you take, only 30, not 50, not 7, just 30, hits your energy shield. But your energy shield is being regenerated by your Pious Path. Right now it is 200, but because my life regen is 400, in the patch it should be 400, that you can see here. Which means you're able to scale flat energy shield slash percentage energy shield on your gear... And that is still giving you essentially a mind over matter conversion to not only your life, but also your degen. The only exception will be chaos damage. Chaos damage will still hit your life pool because of the way it works. Now, to explain one step further, I showed this in the original video. I just want to talk about it again. When you get the Corrupted Soul Keystone, whether that's from a Soul Tether Belt or a Legion Keystone, it makes it so 50% of your non-chaos damage taken bypasses your energy shield. This does not say from hits, it just says your damage taken, which means without having to spend 4 points on this weird setup, you will be getting a 50-50 split instead of a 70-30 split. Maybe it's a little different because of how RF burns. Maybe it's 40-60. But for the most part, it's, it's you know, it, it doesn't really matter. It's close to 50-50. Um, so this is a budget option that you can set up just to, you know, prior the very expensive stuff. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope this answers some of your questions. Also, for the people who are confused about how the consecrated ground works, a lot of people have been saying that um, is it going to feel clunky when you're mapping? No, I want to show you exactly how it works. When Consecrated Ground lingers, which is on your second Ascendancy node, which is what you get from Cruel Lab on Pious Path, effects of Consecrated Ground you create linger. This means anytime you are doing something that makes you stop, even for 0.01 of a second, it will refresh your Consecrated Ground. Shield Charge, Flame Dash, all of these have a cast time or an attack time. That means you will be creating Consecrated Ground upon your arrival. So take a look. Even if you're kiting a boss, you know, you're running around, Shield Charge, Flame Dash around. If you stop for any reason to, you know, to use Scorching Ray, to use Enduring Cry, to drop Orb of Storms, to Shield Charge, you will automatically refresh your Consecrated Ground, which will keep you immune to ailments, give you your life regen, give you your energy shield regen, increase the boss damage. So that's pretty much everything. Anyway, though, like I said, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And feel free to check out the stream at twitch.tv slash pox. We'll be streaming the progression of the Inquisitor Righteous Fire build. Take care. Have a wonderful time, everybody.